Hello, everyone. It's been a while, but we are back and we are planning to start AZ500. Yes, we are going to cover almost all the topics of AZ500, which is Microsoft Azure Security Technology. Let's have a quick look what all we need to we need to cover in this. These are the four modules, which has huge number of uh, chapters that we need to cover. Managed identities and access. You can easily guess all about Azure AD and its features, which is almost 30%. Networking, secure networking, which consists of all your networking resources, NSG, firewalls, private access, a uh, lot of things. I'll show you the syllabus as well. Then we have compute storage and database secure and SOC, manage security operations. So these are the four big modules that we will cover in this uh, video series. And this is the syllabus from Microsoft where it covers all the uh, sub modules under identity. We need to talk about managed identity, authentication, authorization, Similarly, we talk about networking. It's about virtual network, private access, public access. Same goes with the other uh, modules. I'll share this link in the description so that you can you guys can download this labels and go step by step. Or you can simply type AZ500 on Google and you can have this AZ500. Uh, <clears throat> Here you have this uh, exam right here. These are all the topics. And if you type syllabus, you can get the syllabus. So this is our first video. And we talked about all the modules or syllabus. And now let's quickly talk about why security is so important. Well, Security is a core component of any well-architected environment, and this is no different for Azure. If you're following this channel, you know we have already covered well-architected uh, framework of Azure, and security was one of the pillar. In a lot many other videos on this channel, we have touched base the security many times. Anyways, every workload that uh, your organization implements in Azure needs to be implemented with security in mind. The risk associated with not doing uh, this cloud range from an attacker being able to use your Azure resources to mine cryptocurrency at your expense at, to an attacker being able to gain access to sensitive customer data that could result in massive fines or sanctions against your company. It could also lead to reputation damage that may lead to cus customers moving to a competitor. The long story short, without security, you can't run your business. You must be paying on someone else's expenses because somebody hacked your environment and using that, as I said, crypto, or if you have a production website, people would be afraid to use it because it has been hacked. So security is important, right? Now, how does cloud security work? Is it different from traditional security? Do you have to unlearn everything that you know about managing on-prem security and start from the beginning? Well, the answer is no. The principles of digital security are the same, whether your workload sits in traditional on-prem data center or in cloud environment, such as Azure. The way you apply those principles, however, is quite different. Some of those differences are due to dynamic and elastic nature of cloud environments. The ability to rapidly provision and release resources introduce new challenges that traditional security models struggle to address effectively, but we'll cover uh, how to solve these in the series. For example, you're gonna use IAC, DevSecOps. There's a lot of, a lot is going on in the field of security. In any discussion on Azure security, it is critical to understand the 
shared responsibility model which we have covered many times but for the sake of our new series first video let's quickly go through it uh, let me make it simple whatever you create or you have access to on azure portal it's your responsibility to make it secure for example if you create a vm you need to take care of your vm vm security of course uh, but in the back end wherever the data center is that's the responsibility of microsoft like physical security of the data center and here are different models on-prem is pass and sas if it is on-prem everything is your responsibility is is the vm the example we took physical security where the data center is running is microsoft and then it goes to us right just trying to make it simple uh well <clears throat> One of the things that I would like to highlight in this diagram is that regardless of the cloud service model that we are using, IS, PaaS, or SaaS, we are never without security responsibilities, as you can see these blue signs here, right? Well, here are some important things I would like to highlight. Your security responsibility varies depending on the model of service that you are using in Azure. As you can see, the blue one is our responsibility for security. For example, you're responsible for patching the operating system of Azure hosted virtual machines. If you're using a PaaS service such as Azure App Service, you have fewer security responsibilities to take care of. For example, you are not responsible for patching the operating system used by the service, but you are still responsible for how you configure the service and also for controlling access to it. If you're using SaaS service such as Azure Search, you have even fewer security responsibilities, but you are still responsible for controlling access to your data. Not fulfilling your security responsibilities leaves you exposed to threats and attacks in those areas. Have a good look at this diagram again. Wherever you see the blue in the diagram, if you do not have a strategy to address those responsibilities, you are leaving yourself exposed to threats. Do not worry too much about this right now. By the end of this series, you will be equipped with the knowledge and skills that you need to effectively take care of these security responsibilities. As I've stated many times, um, Solutions Architect with Rackspace, and it is one of the best organization to work with. And security is something that you have to think every time you talk to the customer, every time you have something in your mind for the architecture. So stay with me. Let's learn together. Take care. Bye-bye. Let's meet in another video.